Good day everyone! Today we will be discussing all about adding dissimilar fractions. But before that, let's try to identify what do we mean by dissimilar fractions. So when we say dissimilar fractions, fractions having different denominators. Now, two-thirds and three-fourths are dissimilar fractions. Why did we say that the two fractions here are dissimilar? Simply because the denominator here is 3 and the denominator here is 4 and they are not the same or they are different. So meaning to say, whenever the denominators are not the same or they are different, that these fractions are considered dissimilar. Now let's try to move on with our topic and that is how to add dissimilar fractions. Now as you can see in the example, 3 fifths plus 1 fourth. 3 fifths and 1 fourth, 3 fifths, sorry, 3 fifths and 1 fourth are dissimilar simply because the denominators are not the same. Okay, now how to add dissimilar fractions? We cannot add the numbers directly. All we need to do is to get the LCD or the least common denominator. So we need to get the LCD of 5 as well as the LCD of 4. By doing that, we can have skip counting. 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. I will stop first with 25. Actually, the numbers are infinite. Or, then yes, it's the numbers are infinite, endless. Now we can have 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Now, take a look at, is there any common number? Yes, very good, there is, and that is 20. So the LCD of 5 and 4 is 20. Instead of using 5 and 4, we will use 20 now as the denominators. Because our objective here is is to make dissimilar fractions into similar fractions. Now, the concern or the problem here is to have the new numerators. How to do that? All you need to do is to divide the LCD to the denominator here. 20 divided by 5 and that will give you 4. Then after that one, whatever the quotient, multiply to the numerator. 4 times 3, that is 12. And you will put 12 here. Okay, that's good. Now let's have 20 and let's have the second, second fraction. 20 divided by 4 and that gives you 5. Then whatever the quotient, multiply it here. 5 times 1 and that gives you here 5. Okay, so from dissimilar fractions, we have now similar fractions because the denominators are the same. So we can add the numerators right away. 12 plus 5, the answer is 17. Correct. And simply copy the denominator which is 20. Now take a look at, is our answer here uh, final, simplified? Yes, this is simplified already. A proper fraction that is simplified already. So therefore, 3 fifths plus 1 fourth, the answer is 17 over 20. Okay, that's great. Now let's try to have another example. Okay, we have 2 thirds plus 3 fourths here. Again, we cannot add the numbers directly simply because they are dissimilar fractions. The denominators are not the same. So the first step is to find out the LCD. And that would be 3 and 4. Let's do the skip count. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We will st uh, stop first. We'll have first five numbers. Okay, we can have 4, 8, 12. I guess you can see a common number now, and that common number is 12. Okay, instead of using 3 and 4, we will have 
12 here. Okay, that's all right. 12. Okay. 12. Then after that one, we need to get the numerators here. So we can have 12 divided by 3, and that gives you 4. Then multiply 4 times the numerator, which is 2. 4 times 2, that gives you here 8. Okay. 12 divided by 4, that gives us 3. Then multiplied here, 3 times 3, and that gives you 9. Then after that one, you can simply add now. 8 plus 9, that gives you 17. Then simply copy the denominator, which is 12. Now take a look at, is our answer here final? Try to check. No, it's not yet. This is improper fraction. So we can simplify this one by changing it into mixed number. So we can have 17 divided by 12 for us to change into mixed number. 17 divided by 12, that gives you 1. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtract 17 minus 12, that is 5. Okay? So therefore, the whole number here, which is the quotient, 1. The remainder, which is the numerator, will be 5. And simply copy the denominator, which is 12. So therefore, the final answer would be 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. That answer is 1 and 5 over 12. Let me check with my calculator if the answer is correct. Okay. Yes, the answer is 1 and 5 over 12. Okay, I'm using calculator for me to check. But the students or viewers, it is very important for you to know how to solve even without the help of calculator. Okay. Now, can, what if this will be the problem? adding the similar fractions and we have mixed numbers here so the same procedure all you need to do is to add first the whole numbers 3 plus 1 that gives you 4 okay we'll just place 4 here first uh where will to put 4 okay it's okay we'll just put 4 here so 3 plus 1 we can have 4 okay that's great now after this one since then fractions or the proper fractions of the mixed numbers are dissimilar so we need to get the lcd of seven and three okay so we can do the skip count sometimes you can multiply the numbers right away but not all the time so i'm just using skip count for you to know the procedure well seven 14 21 28 uh, i will stop here first because i know I need to count by threes more than seven. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. I'll just continue this one. Eighteen, and that is twenty-one. So therefore, the LCD of seven and three is twenty-one. So we can have twenty-one here. Okay, twenty-one. All right. That's it. Then after that one, we need to get the, what will we get? The new numerators. So we need to divide 21 divided by 7. That gives you 3. Correct. 3. 3 times 3 times 2. That will give you 6. Okay, good job. 21 divided by 7. That is 3 times 2 and that gives you 6 okay now let's have this one 21 divided by 3 that is 7 and 7 times 1 that gives you here 7 okay now you can add the numbers 6 plus 7 that gives you 13 and simply copy 21 as the denominator okay but take note you have whole number here so you have to write for the whole number and the proper fraction which is 13 over 21 is the proper fraction here final 
Yes, I guess. So therefore, that is the answer. Now let's try to check if the answer is correct. Let me check first. 3, 2, and 7. I'm using calculator now for me to check. Mm -hmm. Okay, our answer is correct. 4 and 13 over 21. Okay, we will have the last example and I want all the students to listen carefully here. 5 and 4 fifths plus 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, now again, we can add the number or the whole numbers right away. 7, of course, that's 7. Okay, now let's have 4. I will just put 4 fifths here so that you will not be confused. 4 fifths plus 3 fourths. Okay, now let's have to solve this one. We will just simply get the LCD of 5 and 4. So if you will get the LCD, I know so well that you know the answer. The LCD of 5 and 4, that is what? 20? Oh, let's check. If your answer is correct, 5, 10, 15, I guess it's correct, 15, 20, 4, 8, 12, 16, yes, 16, yeah, hey, your answer or the LCD is 20 and you are correct, 20. So we will have 20 here. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm. 20. Oh, my hands. Please cooperate. <laughs> Sorry for the penmanship students or viewers. Okay, we'll have 20 divided by 5. That is 4. Then 4 times 4 here. That gives you 16. That's right. Here, 20 divided by 4. That gives you 5. 5 times 3 that gives you 15 okay all right now 16 plus 15 that is 31 and simply copy the denominator which is 20 but take note this is improper so this is not yet simplified so we need to change that into mixed number 31 divided by 20 Okay, that gives you 1. 1 times 20, that is 20. Subtract, that is 11. So the mixed number here is 1, 11 over 20. But take note, you have your whole number here. 5 plus 2 is 7. So you need to add that 1. 7, the whole number plus 1, the whole number, that gives you 8. And copy the proper fraction, which is 11 over 20. So this is the final answer. Okay, let's check with the calculator if that's correct. 5, four, five and 4 fifths plus 2 and 3 fourths. The answer would be, oh, there is something wrong. The answer should be 9. Why is it 9? Okay, wrong. The answer is for a while. I guess the calculator is wrong <laughs> for a while. What happened to the calculator? Yes, our answer is correct. 8 and 11 over 20. So you can check that out in your calculator uh, to find out whether our answers here are correct or not so thank you for listening viewers and students i hope you have a good time listening to sir brian so have a nice day and god bless everyone